Thank you for stopping back by Just Pillin' Barbecue. Today, by request, we're going to do St. Louis style ribs on the chimp, so stay tuned. All right, I had a subscriber uh, request a cook on the chimp, and then St. Louis style ribs were brought up, so that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer and show you what we've got going on. Now these are St. Louis style ribs, but I trimmed them myself. These were spare ribs, and I ended up cutting them into St. Louis style ribs because that was what were, was requested. Um, but if you want to know how to make your own St. Louis style ribs out of regular spare ribs, I'll leave a link in the description box below, and I'll show you exactly how in that video to cut your own St. Louis style ribs. All right, so first, I'm, as a binder, I'm gonna use olive oil. If you wanna use mustard, go ahead and use mustard. Um, I just prefer to use olive oil. That's what I've always used. So we're going to do that. And we're going to get these rubbed down really nice on both sides. Now, on one of these uh, racks of ribs, I'm going to use the new Meat Church Holy Voodoo. And then on the other one, I'm going to use Killer Hogs The Barbecue Rub. So we're going to start with this one. And we're just going to put a a nice coat on back and forth if some of it carries over to the other one that's okay I'll put a pretty decent coating on it and man it gives it a great color and then on this one with the voodoo we're gonna go on with it as well as you can see this one's a lighter color it has great flavors as well we used it a little bit last weekend now I'm just going to give it a press. Press both of those in. Now let's flip it over and get the other side. Now as I said before, I cut these St. Louis style ribs myself. Uh, I removed the membrane and all that, so all that's already been done. Uh, and now we'll get the other side. Hold on, I need to put some binder on. A little bit of olive oil. Now, when you're cutting your St. Louis style ribs from spare ribs, do not throw away all the scraps that you cut off. I've got those in a pan in there. I've already seasoned those up. And uh, those are going to be some little snacks for a little later on. There's some plenty good meat on those scrap pieces as well. So don't, sa don't uh, throw those away. Save them. Throw them on the grill for little snacks for the, uh, for the pit master. Very nice color on those. Now we're running the chimp today on 250 degrees. I've got uh, pecan pellets in the uh, hopper. That's what we're going to be running today. I'm on mode two. That's just how I like to, to roll with it. Um, I like a little swing and a little, a little more smoke. So that's what we're going to do there. Uh, as soon as it gets up to temp, then we're going to throw them up. All right, the uh, chimp is almost up to temperature at 250 degrees. I just fired up the silverback as well at 350 degrees. Brandy's going to do a video of her own today as well. So we've got that going on. To, today's really grill a grill day uh, here at Just Peeling Barbecue. Now, as you can see, the, both of these rubs have kind of started to pull some moisture out of these racks of ribs. And that's what you want. But right before I put them on, I'm going to use that to my advantage and just hit it right over the top with just a tad more and let those natural juices kind of be the binder for that. And then we'll get them right on the, right on the grill. Both loads are really good. Now let's get these on. All right, it's at 225. I got it set on 250, but that's gonna be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and get these on. Now it just went up to 230. I'm gonna put the Holy voodoo on the back, bone side down. And I'm gonna put the killer hogs in the front, just like that. And when you put your ribs on, if you wanna kinda of squeeze them together a little bit and get them formed just right, nice and straight, because that's how they're gonna cook. And now they're ready to go. All 
All right, we've been going about an hour at 250 on these ribs. I just got a little apple cider vinegar and water, probably half and half. I'm gonna give it a spritz about every hour just to keep it moist in there. But the color on them looks amazing. Again, we got the meat church voodoo on the back and the killer hogs on the front. Looks awesome, we're gonna keep it going. All right, these ribs have been on about five hours. I haven't done anything to them except keep them on the grill. I kept it really simple. I didn't do a 3-2-1 method or anything else. I've kept them on the grill for five hours at 250. And now we're fixing to uh, sauce them up. So come in a little bit closer. And you can see when you pick them up and they start getting that little crack right there in the bark, that means they're starting to get done. So I'm going to go ahead and sauce them up. That color looks really good. I'm going to use a little bit of my barbecue sauce. If y'all want some of this barbecue sauce, go to JustPiddlingBBQ.com and you can pick up some. It's a mustard vinegar based sauce. And we're going to put a little bit on each one of these racks. And then I'm going to close the lid back for about 15 minutes and just let it tack up a little bit. And then we're going to give it a taste test. That's going to be good. We'll see you in 15 minutes. Alright, so we're going to take one of these slabs off. I'm going to flip these over so I can get a little better, better cut on them. That's a good one right there. Nice little smoke ring on them. On the top. Now let's see how we did. Alright, we're going to go ahead and try it. I know it's pretty hot, but these things look good. Let's see how we did here. Yeah. Alright, really good flavor. This is about as simple as you can get. Put it on there, 250 degrees for five hours. Didn't do anything, didn't wrap it. Spritzed it once an hour uh, with some apple cider vinegar and water. And then right at the end, hit it with my sauce. Let it tack up for about 15 minutes. And uh, this is what you come up with. Give it a try. Until next time, we'll be piddling.